Hi everyone, this is B. Monisha, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangode. In this video, I am going to present briefly about elasticity. What do you mean by elastic or plastic? In physics, materials are described as having either elastic or plastic properties. Most materials display both properties depending on how much they are deformed. Then forces can change. There are stretching forces and then compression forces. Stretching forces can change the shape of object making them longer and thinner. Compression forces can squash object making them smaller. Elastic properties of matter. An elastic body is one that returns to its original shape after a deformation. Few examples of uh, elastic soccer ball and a rubber band. What is bending moment? A bending moment is a measure of the bending effect due to forces acting on a beam. It is measured in terms of force and distance. Modulus is generally consists of three types. Young's modulus, bulk modulus, rigidity modulus. Young's modulus capital E is a property of the material that tells us how easily it can stretch and deform and it is defined as ratio of uh, uh, stress to strain. Then bulk modulus is normal stress to voluntary strain. Rigidity modulus is uh, tangential stress by shearing strain. Then in the diagram shows if the beam is loaded at it midpoint the depression produced will not form an arc of a circle. This type of bending is called non-uniform bending. If the beam is loaded at both ends the elevation produced will form an arc of a circle. This type of bending is called uniform bending. Then cantilever. Uh, a cantilever is a rigid structural element that extends horizontally and is supported at only one end. It extends from a flat vertical surface such as a ball to which it must be firmly attached. The rigidity modulus of elasticity eta is the ratio of shearing stress and shearing strain. It gives the rigidity of a material. The greater uh, the shear modulus, the more rigidity the material will have. The torsion pendulum consists of a disc or some other object suspended from a wire which is then twisted and released resulting in an oscillatory motion. The oscillatory motion is caused by restoring torque which is proportional to the angular displacement. Capital I is the rotational inertia of the disc about the twisting axis. K is a kappa uh, that is torsional constant which is equal to the spring constant. Thank you.